know that the curtains didn't work? I mean, Have I let them know that it hasn't worked? Yeah, the curtains. The like, curtains. I show up here and then they like put up, you know, the curtains on the windows and it's just, I'm still out here. Like, so I don't, what's your point? What are you trying to achieve? It's like, you know, curtains don't shatter suppression. Now, there are other ways to make it stop, but curtains ain't the way to do it. That's yeah, but it, that, it hasn't changed anything with my relationship with my family. Okay, well, good. Awesome. Are you clear? No. No? What, no. what level are you? Uh, I'm still I'm still in training. Still in training? So yeah. you've only done, like, a couple of rundowns? or? No, I've been doing it for over um, about a year and a half. About Just a year and mainly a half. doing courses. I've done some auditing. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. So. See, uh, see what happens at the higher levels. I mean, do your, does your family you know, support Scientology? Do they? Yeah. yeah? Are anything they in the church? That, anything that helps me. Anything that helps you? Okay. What did you yeah. go to the? What did you go to them for? Um, well, I've had uh, I've had just problems just in life, and just I, in that, life. I, that I'm trying to improve on. Just generically. And uh, well, specifically, like I've gotten really into it because of a dentist. He's one of the most successful dentists in the area. Okay. His name's Neil Woods, and um, he's like OT8 or something. He's, he's something OT, way. So he's, he's, he's homo novus. He's way up, high up. Okay. So homo novus. What do you no mean by homo novus? Well, that's what OT8 is, new man. That's the whole something, point. He's something, a, he should be he's able something to way, yeah, I know he's I know he's OT. He's high up in the OT. Okay. But he said that any problem, and I have a bad headache problem that I've struggled with for three years, and he said that... Uh, and his wife has struggled with migraine, and she said, migraines, and she said that it's completely and utterly, completely gone now. Are, are your, no migraines at all. Now. Are your migraines gone? Mine's not gone, but it's been improved a lot. I don't have migraines. I have tension headaches. What are they? What are they saying that the tension headache? What are they doing that's curing tension headaches? Uh, well, basically, like my whole way of thinking is completely changed, so that my tension headaches don't get caused anymore. My my awareness has been raised much, much higher so that my, my mind functions much better, much more optimally. And so that I can't, my, my muscles can't, I have more control over my muscles from having that kind of a problem. And it's been getting better and better all the time. Do they have like the time by when you'll be totally cured? I mean, are they able to They say that? for sure that, that I'm training to be a class five auditor. So they say that there's no question that that I'll have a release, which is basically like to the point where I don't have headaches anymore. Okay. They said there's no question that's definitely going to happen because I'm signed up to do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. How much does that cost? Um, it costs a lot. It depends on what you're doing. It depends on because I'm on the training route. It, it's a lot cheaper. Okay. To go up to to do it, but I'm willing to spend a million dollars, all the money I have, if I never have a headache again. Because I'm not, I'm not willing to be on medication my whole life, feeling miserable with a headache until I'm 50. It doesn't even matter how much money it will be because if I never have headaches again, it's, it's priceless. But here's, I mean, here's the number one thing that we're that we're putting out here, man, is that if they've got like these wonderful cures for everything, yeah. don't you think it would be in the interest of humanity to just spread the techniques around at no cost? Well, the problem is, is that it's because the some of the techniques can't be proven because um, they can't be accepted because they, the way they work, they, they work based off function. If it works, then use it. But the problem is you can't, you can't, you can't measure scientifically what a person's, you can't measure their spirit. It's like, for example, if you go to like, like South America and they have some sort of voodoo thing that cures people because they bring up your spirit so much that you can like, that it cures you. That right. You can't prove that science. You can't prove that in a medical lab. Yeah, but I'm not saying it has to be proven or not. I'm just saying, why not just just put it out there? Just let everybody access it, and if it works for them, everybody then can access. Anybody can come in yeah, here and I do it. Yeah, but I mean for free. I mean just throw it up on a website so that people can just do it. Because then the people that are that are giving providing the services, how would they be able to live? Can't if they, they don't give money, how are they going to live? They can't have other jobs. They can have other jobs, but. If well, you provide a service and you're helping people, you should get paid for that. It's just like if I teach tennis to someone, I like teaching tennis, but I should get paid. If I do a job at work, I'm helping, I should get paid for that. What do you think elevating somebody? Just like if you're a psychiatrist and you're helping someone, psychiatrists want to help people, they get paid. Right.